in previous video we discussed about trailhead and communities now before start learning salesforce and before i start my sessions you should know how to create your salesforce account and what kind of user interface salesforce has so earlier salesforce used to use salesforce classic user interface now they have upgraded to lightning version many of us don't know classic version so just an fii knowledge i am going to share both the ui and comparison between and how to sign in for salesforce developer org so that whatever you learn through the videos you can start implementing it so let's go in order to sign in for developer org what you need to do is just type in developer org in salesforce or developer.salesforce.com you will land up to this page where you can create on sign up once you redirect to this page you can enter your name and you can enter your email address you can decide your you can define your job role here then you can mention your company name you can define your country your postal code and at last your username which is going to be your login once you click on sign me up it will be redirected to the next page where you will have your own org first you will receive an email whatever email you mention on this page you are going to receive an email you just have to verify your email address in just one click you will have your org created so i'll show you how the org looks like when you have it so this is how the salesforce org looks like whenever you have your developer edition signed in this is the very first page you will see which is called the lightning experience of salesforce now why this is called lightning experience is it's not like normal lightning but it gives you the feature which are trending like lightning it gives you more advanced feature as compared to salesforce classic that is why they have named as lightning and you have a lot to do and lot more shortcuts as compared to salesforce classic ui so i'm going to show you the salesforce classic ui first then we will move back to salesforce lightning ui so once you come down to this page in order to switch back to classic the different user interface of salesforce you just need to click on your profile icon you will see an option called switch to salesforce classic just click on this and you will be moved back to the older version which is salesforce classic ui so there is no major difference between these two user interface it's just the look and feel and some features which are not available in salesforce classic but as lightning is an advanced version of ui so that's why they have more features available into lightning but objects object creation and all the process remains the same so this is the classic ui which you see here if you want to go to any object and see how the field page looks like you can simply click on any object like i clicked on leads all the records which we have created in lightning will appear the same in classic as the data remains the same now there are few shortcuts which is there in classic but not in lightning for example you can edit the page layout from here itself in just one click you will be able to drag and drop your fields wherever you want and click save you will come to this page again but you don't have this feature available in lightning also you can take a printable view of this page if you want to take a snapshot like this or if you want to copy this information into excel or you want to print this particular page you can do that that's only available in classic but you can add that button later in lightning view as well you have the feed available on this page itself you don't have any right or left column and you also have recycle bin mentioned on the main screen only where whatever you have deleted accidentally if you want to restore the data just like the normal recycle bin we have in our windows same way we have in our salesforce so that's available in lightning ui as well i'll and show you where it is and in order to access other tabs you can just click on all the tabs and you will see all tabs here you can just click on it there are few things which are different into 
classic like you have documents where you can add your documents and attach it in the templates but you have these documents appearing in lightning ui as files so this is the only major difference let's go back to the salesforce lightning ui now so this is called the lightning version which is the newer version where the look and feel is different it's more graphical representation is there in this ui you can simply edit your page from here itself if you want to edit it make any changes just like we did in as we are going to do in next sessions through app builder you can simply make changes to the page from here only so these are the user interfaces salesforce classic and salesforce lightning i would recommend to use salesforce lightning because that's the future stay tuned for the next videos